On October 17, 1941, the American Industrial Radium and X-ray Society was born at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Philip D. Johnson, along with eight of his colleagues, saw the need for an association to serve the needs of the radiographic profession. Little did anyone know that seven weeks later, war would be declared, vastly expanding the need of radiography and placing greater emphasis on the aims of the society. Since 1941, AZT has created a safer world. We promote the profession and technologies of non-destructive testing. By 1943, our membership surpassed 500, and the society was busier than ever, establishing its constitution and bylaws, publishing its first issue of industrial radiography, which would later become materials evaluation, and creating the Mel and Lester Honor Lectures as the society's first official awards. The following year, our membership expanded its reach outside of the U.S. with members in Canada, Mexico, United Kingdom, Australia, Brazil, and Chile. With the evolution of non-destructive testing, so changed the Society's name, becoming simply the Society for Non-Destructive Testing. During the decade from 1945 to 1955, the Society continued to publish journals and the first edition of the Non-Destructive Testing Handbook in 1959. Our Society literally wrote the book on non-destructive testing. ASNT is an invaluable resource for scientific, engineering, and technical knowledge. Our Technical Council helped to develop and publish recommended practices, and we worked to build a code of ethics for members of the Society. And after much debate, in 1967, we adopted our current name, the American Society for Non-Destructive Testing. In 1970, the chair of the ASNT Industrial Division of the Technical Council represented the U.S. at the first meeting of the ISO TC-135 Non-Destructive Testing Committee in London, England. This began ASNT's involvement with the International Standards Organization. ASNT provides resources to find certified training courses. For more than a half a century now, ASNT has been the standard, not just for certification, but for the uh, dissemination of technical information dealing with the technology of NDT. ASNT's headquarters was relocated to Columbus, Ohio in 1976, and the ASNT NDT Level 3 certification program was established with the first exams administered in 1977. And in 1980, ASNT began offering the Level 3 exams outside the U.S. ASNT certification is the most recognized credential for NDT. Industry standards and best practices are just part of what ASNT provides us. In 1982, we released the first two volumes of the second edition of the NDT Handbook. The first issue of the NDT Buyer's Guide was released in 1983. In 1989, a groundbreaking ceremony was held for the current ASNT offices in Columbus, Ohio, and Springer International published the first issue of research in non-destructive evaluation. Personal computers gave rise to the internet, and ASNT launched our first website in 1996. In the same year, we completed the second edition 10-volume series of the NDT Handbook. ASNT has a lot to offer for anyone who wants to further understand the NDT technologies. In 2000, the membership approved our new mission. ASNT exists to create a safer world by promoting the profession and technologies of non-destructive testing. Technologies continued to advance, and by 2007, ASNT members could vote online. In 2013, we expanded our online capabilities to allow members to manage accounts and certifications as well as purchase ebooks. In 2015, the ASNT headquarters was renamed the International Service Center. Our membership exceeds 16,000 and we continue to grow. The International Service Center will help us refocus our mission to a larger global approach. Very uplifting and rewarding to be a part of an organization that incorporates change, welcomes change, and also welcomes input from the people. NDT has changed significantly through the years, and ASNT has helped us keep current. The ASNT plays an important role in our industry. ASNT unites us. 
ASNT stands as strong as ever and is poised to devote its coming years to working with the global NDT community, building a cohesive certification system, improving knowledge transfer, and imparting the newest practices to all practitioners of NDT. I am so happy and blessed to have been part of this organization for over 50 years and I want to say happy 75th anniversary to ASNT. I feel like I've grown up with you. Happy 75th ASNT. Happy 75th anniversary. Happy 75th ASNT. Happy 75th anniversary. Happy 75th. Happy 75th anniversary. Happy anniversary ASNT. I started in 1972 and it's been a fantastic trip. I'm sure we'll be going strong for another 75 years. Happy 75th ASNT and here's to a 75 more.